Hello! Today is Saturday, the 17th of February 2024, and I am at Kuferkalhütte in Switzerland. And I came up today, um, I started at 10 and I got here at 2 p.m. or so. And the weather was okay ish, but it was very foggy for some of the day and wet. But the upside of all that fog is that now, so the fog was a little bit lower in the valley, and now you get this view. And uh, some years ago, maybe 2015, 2016, <clears throat> I was at, no, 2017, I was at Albert Heimhütte in Canton Uri. Uh, and it was the old cabin, then they tore it down and then they rebuilt it. But I went there and it was the old cabin still. And I remember it was a very, very, very cold uh, February morning. And I woke up at six or so to go to the bathroom. And it was just the right time. I don't remember actually what time it was, but it was just the right time to see the sunrise. And it was minus 20 degrees outside. And there was like a thick, thick cloud cover on the top and a very, very thick cloud cover on the bottom. Like, so I felt like I was seeing the sunrise in this like super thin band of clear air. Um, it was much thinner than now. I think the, the bottom fog was much closer back then. And the top fog was also much lower. And it looked so uh, unbelievably amazing. And but I was going to the bathroom because back back then the in the old cabin before they rebuilt it the bathroom was outside. So I was actually just going to the bathroom. So I was wearing like night my pajamas sort of, and I didn't go back to take a picture because it was minus twenty degrees outside. And my whole time afterwards, I regretted that I never took that picture because it looked beyond National Geographic. It looked like it was like the universe showed me, I don't know, something magical. And it kind of looks like that now. I mean, obviously it's not so, the bottom fog is not so well defined now. And um, of course it's broken seen into layers and it's not so thick. But it was like water. It was like a like an ocean. Um, yeah. Anyway, sorry, my my hands are shaking because I'm also not wearing too many clothes. Um, so the fog looks really really great, but unfortunately, it's also like a like a risk, like a hazard, because I got lost on the way up. Because inside the cloud, it's all pure white. And you can't see anything because the snow is pure white and the cloud is pure white and it just all looks pure white. But then, so I, w I got lost and then I found some tracks and I was following the tracks and then I came to like a small like sheep cabin and I went inside and there were some people who were also coming to Kufekar and also got lost like me. And... Um, we stayed in that sheep cabin for maybe 30 minutes and then the sun came out through the there was a break in the fog and the sun came out and then we could see where the path was because it was all just pure white and the ski goggles didn't help at all so yeah see there is a light on the far end uh either a house or something yeah so i um the weather is not super bad it's minus so apart from the clouds and occasionally in the clouds, it feels very foggy and it condenses on you and it feels very wet. But apart from that, it was quite nice today. It was eight, five, six degrees uh, during the day at noon. So definitely above zero and it felt very nice and uh, very, um, I don't know, picturesque, I guess. And uh, the final 300 meters were quite hard because it's basically straight up on the mountain and the mountain is not very steep but it is still steep and it's very white like it's completely featureless 
because um, the snow is untouched by like smog, smog or anything and it's pure white and you're looking out and you know you just see like a surface that appears to be pure white but there could be like a snowbank there and you you can't see it so it's quite hard to find your way up the mountain because you can only reliably tell what the surface geometry is like for I don't know maybe 30 meters ahead of you and I had some surprises like I thought I was gonna walk on a flat surface and then there was like a like a uh, hole <laughs> or a cliff so uh, from that point of view it's hard but temperature wise and weather wise it was pretty chill at the end it's just that you have to get out of the clouds <clears throat> as soon as you get above the clouds it's amazing but in the clouds it's quite miserable and this morning I started from a lake uh, called Sufers, which is obviously not visible, but it's down in that valley. And yeah, this is it. This is the epic picture. Sorry for all the shaking. It's really, really cold now. I think it's minus five or so. And I'm also wearing pajamas because I don't know. I saw, I was actually getting ready to have dinner, but I saw how nice it was outside and I decided to go out, so, and shoot this video. I'm not going to make the same mistake twice in my life, right? First, first I didn't take the picture and for five or six years afterwards, I regret not taking that picture. So I don't care if I'm not wearing the proper clothes, I'm taking the pictures. I'll also put some pictures at the end about what it was like inside the cloud. Okay, I think it's cold enough that my hands are no longer working, so I'm gonna stop here. Let's see if I can touch. See you later.